Lord, suffice to say, your lordships have seen, the Honorable Governor relies upon Bomai, Rameshwar Prasad, uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan, etc., my lord, that flow test is the only test. And the only satisfaction which the Governor is supposed to reach at this stage is the satisfaction that flow test is required. He is not supposed to uh, lord, record a satisfaction that, yes, you have lost majority. He doesn't do that. The but prime he, does that. he does that. Governor says, I am therefore confident that you and your government has lost the trust of the House. Lord, for the, the purpose of, decide, yes, Lord, for the purpose of, he is justifying his direction that now you go and prove it otherwise. That no, you have the trust of the House. Lord, otherwise, he would have invited somebody else immediately, Lord, if he would have uh, arrived at that satisfaction, which he could never have arrived at constitutionally. It has to be the satisfaction to call for the flow test. That you go and face the test. This is prima facie material. Material is unimpeachable. Everything is in public domain. The elected people are coming and representing to me in writing. Go and uh, Lord, uh, face the flow test. Lord, now, if that satisfaction is not recorded, that there is a... Uh, so, really speaking, Mr. Uh, Solicitor, the material before the governor was only three things. One the uh, resolution by 34 MLAs that any change in the leadership of the House is not warranted, that therefore they continue to have reaffirm the, that the leadership will be with Eknath Shinde, not with uh, Chaudhary or uh, Gogaule. One. Two, the uh, letters by 47 MLAs about uh, the threat to their security for converting minority into majority. And the third, the the letter of the leader of the opposition. Yes. That 39 MLAs of the Shiv Sena want to exist, they exit the alliance with the BJP, with the INC and the NC. Yes, Lord. and saying essentially all this correspondence boils down to three aspects, three three things basically. Independent and MLAs. And, and the resolutions of, passed. And the 34 MLAs. But resolutions passed by them respectively letter is accompanied by resolutions to show that this is not happening for any other reason. This is happening because the chief minister has lost major majority and he wants to convert his minority. That's the only thing, my lord, in my respectful submission, the governor is supposed to see. That, in fact, he appears to have been reduced into minority, but he can go to the floor of the house. That's the ultimate... Uh, Ultimately, it boils down to this. Suppose... There is a policy difference between a group of MLAs within a party. Yes. It was on the alliance with the NCP and the INC. Suppose there is a policy difference on whatever aspects, spending funds for a backward region in the state. We don't, we don't want this to be done. Several, yes, sir. The, 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 the difference of the MLAs can be on a variety of things. Does the policy difference of a group of MLAs within a party, because governor also says, they also don't say that, look, we are leaving the party, because if they, the moment they say, because governor also says, they also don't say that, look, we are leaving the party, because if they, the moment they say that, they are in the 10th schedule. Can the governor, governor merely on that basis say, now I, I, I'm of the view that you must uh, prove your trust vote in the, you must, uh, I, I, must I, uh, go to I, a I, I, I answer that, hello. But that, my lord, I would better answer after showing the law on the point because my lord, the answer is this, immediate answer is this. The reasons for the dissatisfaction or reasons based upon which the sitting chief minister has lost majority is not the consideration for the governor. That can be a ground for disqualifying them, taking any other action within the party fold, etc. The governor is supposed to only understand, no, my lord, and that's what the law, we are lordships have laid down, whether he has lost majority support or not. Whether two different things, you see, one is whether the, the governor has material to indicate that, well, that the existing government has lost majority on the floor of the house. Equally, the governor must be conscious of the fact that his very calling for a trust vote may lead to a precipitate uh, loss of uh, majority for the government. Because that I, the I, calling for a trust vote may itself be a circumstance which will lead to the toppling of the government. My Lord, I, I don't think, my Lord, no. profound respect, my Lord, as I understand, the governor, my Lord, governor cannot take not that come call. In. Governor should not really lend their office for effectuating a particular result. Lord, 
kindly see me, not kindly, kindly examine it. You're, you're I, the leader of the opposition, right? Leader of the opposition. The difficulty is not my other Leader of the opposition's letter is irrelevant, according to me. The leader of the opposition will always write to the governor. Say, Look, these people are uh, acting contrary to the constitution. That their policies are anti-people. That is no ground for the governor to act. The independent MLAs who said, or the MLAs who said, my security is under threat. This was not a report under Article 356. He was not saying that the government of the state cannot be carried on in accordance with the dictates. But That's going to be my submission. Man. So the threat to security cannot be a ground for calling for a trust vote. So both those are out of reckoning. The only thing which survives is the impact of the 34. Because may, 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 may answer it. May answer. 4 is something which is, uh, because 34 in a, in, a, in a party which has 55 MLAs. So may, may I answer that? But first of all, the parameters for three, Article 356 are different and 174 yeah, is what the governor right. may indicate is that he was of the view that there was a certain dissension within the party on whether to continue with the alliance with the Indian National Congress and the uh, and the uh, uh, shift, uh, and the NCP, right? Can that be a ground for the governor to say you call for a trust vote? Thank you, uh, and allow me to answer. The governor. Then you are virtually breaking a party. Okay. Malod, Malod, yeah, the difficulty is, Malod, I'm uh, answering this question before my legal submissions are over because most of your lordship's questions can only be answered from my legal submissions which are yet to follow. But my immediate answer is this. You see, looking at it in hindsight, looking at it in hindsight, in hindsight, they had lost the, they had lost the, the, the mathematical equation they had lost. It was very obvious that when 34, and that's why as Mr. Yetlani said yesterday, they were not willing to disqualify all the 39 because they also realized the moment you disqualify 39, then it's all, it redounds to their disadvantage. So they were trying to dis disqualify the 16 so that, you know, you give a threat to the other 23 that look, you, you will also suffer the same fate. All right. They also knew that they were likely to lose the plot, but we are now on the governor's powers. You are not so much on, you know, the, the mathematics and okay, now at the end of it, it obviously, it's, it's very obvious that, you know, they had lost the, lost the numbers game. But equally, you know, what is a very serious concern is that governor should not enter into this, any, any area by which their action will in fact precipitate the fall of a government. That Otherwise, is where I would very earnestly and respectfully defer constitutionally and I'll answer. Stand that. away and say that, look, can I, before your lordship, my lord, concludes on this point. Would your Lord Malod, allow me to narrate, Malod, place the law on the point? Because law, as I have understood, Malod, subject to your Lord Shri's final uh, uh, approval, may not Malod, support this conclusion. Malod, if there is a dissatisfaction, the governor's responsibility is to ensure that the stable government is there and government functions in a stable way. If Somebody goes and says that there is a party dissatisfaction inter se may not be a ground for the governor, my lord, possibly to call for a trust vote. Suppose there is a political party. My lord, if your lordship. MLAs, MLAs of a political party feel that our leader is not true to our ideology, that our leader is not carrying out the, the basic ideological premise of our party. Take it. Forget Udav Thakre, forget uh, Shiv Stena for a moment. They have their remedies. They can always say that we will we'll vote our leader out. We want, I, we believe that, you know, our leader does not, uh, was, does not pursue the ethos of our party. They can always vote the leader out in a party forum. But can the governor say that because there is a dissension about a certain aspect of the leadership, therefore I'll ask the, uh, I'll ask them to now prove that it's a government which has been formed. It is a government which has established its majority on the floor of the house. It's a government which is a functioning government and you know these kind of and we are now not at the inception where you have to ask for a trust vote. It's but, not, I'm not saying that there is an absence of power in the governor. There is of course the, uh, there is a power in the governor even after a government is formed because a variety of things may happen which will lead the governor to say no, prove your trust on the floor of the house. But what is really the problem here is that governors in exercising that power may actually precipitate the fall of the government. And, and that is something which is very, that is very, very uh, serious for our democracy. May I, because I'm, I'm running against time, but your yeah. losses would accommodate me, obviously. If, I'm on the first point right now. That's one. 
And this was irrespective of their numbers. There is no doubt about it that they lost the numbers at that point of time. But Look, I am answering as a proposition of law. Look, kindly allow me to at least answer Look, this. I have understood Look, your lordship's uh, concern on the constitutional proposition which is canvassed Look, by a party which has otherwise Look, lost the majority support as the figure suggests. And all this hyperbole that you know you will have 40 corpses and all the Maharashtra, it's not some, uh, it's a... It's a very highly cultured, developed state. I mean, things are said in politics. Sometimes things are said which are inappropriate. They should never be said. Well, we said just the other day, Mr. Uh, please Mehta, followed, uh, that we, you know, we said to Dr. Singhvi in a matter where he was appearing that there has to be some level of constitutional discourse and dialogue, which is unfortunately going down in our country. So we are not condoning it. We are not at all condoning please it. Please don't. Con this amounts to condoning. No, no, no. My no, concern no. is. No, we are not condoning it. In fact, we have. In we have expressed the can serious, I, can I, most serious concern about where the, it's like, I, in fact, in one of our orders, just in Narsama and I say it's like a race to the bottom. But that is different. I mean, you know, uh, we are not condoning it at all. We, we are deeply concerned with it as a constitutional court. But fully, we have to also say that what about the governors? They have to, they must exercise these powers with the greatest circumspection and caution. Would your lordships consider deferring this view till my lord my... Okay. We'll see the judgments of course. Yeah, yes, uh, Lord, I, can you allow me to answer at the outset? I'll, I'll show the judgments. Lord, whenever the governor's prime responsibility is that a stable government continues, number one. Can you allow me to complete? Number two, the democratically elected leader should not only enjoy the confidence of the house when the government is formed, he should continue to enjoy the confidence of the house throughout the tenure. And they said, that's going to be my another limb of submission when I, I examine Lord, the governor's power uh, in facts of the case is concerned. Otherwise, there would not be any accountability on the leader so far as his constituent electorate is concerned. He can say that now I am elected to help with you. I will not concern. I am not concerned. See the monsoon allow, session. allow me to. Mr. Solicitor, the monsoon Lord. session was coming. This was all happening in the third week of June, the last week Lord, of June. Can I complete? The monsoon session of the state legislative assembly was going to take place when you would place supplementary demands. That's the surest test. If they have to seek the vote of the House on passing legislation, on uh, supplementary demands, one aspect of a revenue measure, and if the government does not get a vote, they are out. Well, I will show the judgments. Well, I'll the judgments of the monsoon session which was going to take place. Well, I, I'll have to well, read some judgments also, well, and therefore I would earnestly request your lordship to defer this no, tentative yes, conclusion. This is, not, this is not a conclusion at all. This is a concern which we are. An another, another thing. We may eventually accept your submission, and we will equally put your argument to Mr. Sir. No, no, I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm fully one, conscious. One, I'm confident in our quality. What is happening is my, my worry is difficult. My worry is different. Ultimately, whoever fails, whoever succeeds, is a separate issue. But Lord, my worry is what different. Is my worry is different, and I'll put it first. Lord, thereafter, I'll answer that question at the outset and elaborate. But what was said? was not just an inappropriate statement which the governor could have ignored. It was a threat that you you, you will be brought dead and sent to post-mortem. That the house is being... Please don't he condone it. Not even the he, wrote not. To the, he wrote to Mr. Limay, who was the additional chief secretary, provide security. This by itself will not justify the governor in calling a trust vote? Never. That's what our judgments have repeatedly said. No, no, your lordships have said otherwise in Shivraj Singh Chauhan. The fact... The fact that the gov that the fact that the conduct of a government has gone against the core ideology of that party sorry, can never sorry. call for a trust vote. Now, what then is in that letter? What then comes in the resolution? Two things that we reaffirm that Eknath Sambhaji Rao Shinde, who was elected as the leader of the party, continues to be the leader, and two that Gogole that we reaffirm that Gogole is elected as the chief. Whip. Two things. The first part of the resolution has no bearing on a trust vote at all. The first part of it only reflects on the fact that there is there is grave disquiet among these people that well you militated against our pre coal allowance and the core ideology of the Shiv Sena. That's alien to the governor because they have already come, they have formed governor government already. Second, what do they do? They merely reiterate that Eknath Shinde continues to be the leader of the party in the, legis the legislative party. How is this a justification for a trust vote? This is signed by 41 MLAs. But look, the difficulty is, 
difficulties manod we are trying to examine and analyze the justification given by 34 or 39 whether it could have been a justification for float test for governor he has to only examine that but for this 39 the government would fall i would rather go for the float test uh, which in which case he is now no, saying I, I, assuming I, I, yeah. no but you are right you are absolutely right you are spot on there is no there is no difficulty about it at all therefore what the governor is saying is but for these 39 as you rightly say the government will fall can you look into the fact that but for these 39 the government will fall when exclusion of these 39 is postulated on the speaker passing an order for their disqualification under the 10 schedule it's until that order is passed he cannot he cannot presume that they are going to be he is not it's a preemptory move but I, i think we are to say that we remain yeah. part of that yeah, yeah. exactly we are not cutting company my lords are saying the same my lords they say that we we continue to be in the shiv sena correct my lord but still we don't they support continue the to be in the shiv sena how, how, how do you how do you call for a trust vote or what is the apprehension lord, that the government trust vote is not against shiv sena trust vote is against the government against the chief minister 